delegation. The location for the meeting with Senator Ribicoff has been changed to the Red Cross tent, which is to my left. 11 o'clock, Senator Ribicoff will meet the Connecticut delegation at the Red Cross tent. How many deaths will it take till he knows that too many people have died?
going to sing together. We're going to stay together. We're going to moan together. We're going to groan together. And after a while, we'll say, freedom, freedom, freedom now. I give you Mr. Burt Lancaster. All Americans traveling no matter where in the world today are in the position of ambassadors and are very often made bitterly aware of our country's reputation. It is not easy to be an American abroad, nor is it easy to make coherent to those who are not Americans the nature and the meaning of our struggle. And we are therefore forever indebted to those Americans represented by the March on Washington movement for giving us so stunning an example of what America aspires to become and for helping us to redefine in the middle of this dangerous century, what is meant by the American Revolution. We recognize that it is not only in America that the battle for freedom and dignity of peoples is being waged. The struggle toward freedom on the part of the previously subjugated is occurring in capitals and villages all over the world. It is on our awareness of what this struggle means and in the degree of our dedication to it that our futures and the future of the world depend. champion of civil rights in America. Mr. Roy Wilkins, Executive Secretary, National Association for the Advancement of Policy. I want some of you to help me win a bet. I want everybody out here in the open to keep quiet. And I want to hear a yell and a thunder from all those people who are out there under the trees. Let's hear you. Yeah. Yeah. There's one of them in 
victory. Let us bow our heads in prayer. God of history and of all mankind, God of Abraham and Moses, Amos and Isaiah, Jesus and Paul, God of our weary years, God of our silent years, pour out thy benediction upon the United States of America. Pour it out upon President Kennedy However, we know that this is not going. We believe that it's going to have its effect on the image of our country all over the world because it will indicate that not only are Negroes struggling to achieve a transition from second class to first class citizenship, but that our white brothers and sisters a marching arm in arm with the Negro citizens of the country for the purpose of achieving this objective. And consequently, this is and has been a great American experience. I think it... Roman Catholic Group Interracial Commission, which was represented here, that we, I think, proved that our judgment was right the thing we wanted to do was to get in behind the leadership of the Negro community. Clearly, the religious leader of this occasion was Martin Luther King, and uh, we are proud to have served behind and strengthening the witness that he's been carrying. The other thing is that we did produce a non-segregated march. Find the answers in the light of reason. Can we be certain that the apostles of hatred will not search for the answers in the darkness of night? And I believe that the real significance of what we have started here today is that we have laid the groundwork for the building of a functioning, broad coalition of Americans from all walks of life, from all points of view, from all races and creeds and color, who can carry on not only the common struggle to achieve an effective and meaningful civil rights legislation, but who can do this practical work, the day-to-day -day job of fighting discrimination in education, in housing, in employment, in public accommodations. And I think this is the true significance of what we have started today. Pleasure now to present the moral leader of our nation, one who has conducted a massive moral campaign in the southern area of the nation against the citadel of racism. Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Thank you, Mr. Randolph. I would simply like to say that I think this has been one of the great days of America. And I think this march will go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, uh, demonstrations for freedom and human dignity ever held in the United States. I